Force Arena players to this brand new video. So it has actually been a while since I've played the new Ahsoka character with Captain Rex. Um, so today I thought we'd play a bit of that. Uh, put together a deck. I have kind of used the recommended deck to see what it was like. Um, who did I use? It was this one, Wolf DK's deck. Um, now he's got a B-Wing bomber in that deck. Uh, but I took mine out because as you can see there it does his one does 606 damage level 5 um, But my B wing on this particular deck is level 2 um, And it's just 547 now for one energy less um, The wiring bomber deals a tad more on structures plus it's got a better area effect as well So it's good for countering things like your um and, and groups of units as well does less leader damage but bearing in mind that number there does not include the minus 35 damage because all units deal 35% less damage to leaders unless it states otherwise so that would be 35% lower and yes the B-Wing deals a ton of damage on leaders um, so I put that in there if you've got the B-Wing you can give that a try um, but certainly certainly I've got that there obviously got the ATRT for a good push when you can deploy it but your main attack really is going to be your cheaper cards like your drop pod, mine's just level three, which is really low level for for the tier I'm in on this account. Um, but the idea being, you drop your pod in there, um, and then you just charge the turret. Then using a soaker's ability to close the gap really fast on a turret, try and trick your enemy. But bearing in mind, once you've done it once, your enemy will be aware of what's going on. So you have to change things up slightly. Again, Wookie in there to tank things. Again, you can use that as a tactic. Get the Wookie in there, then you can charge in. And you've got Pathfinder to counter anything heavy. ATSTs, for example, but weak against everything else. And then you got Rebel Troopers, which is the standard, um, the standard thing for for your um, for your deck. And you got Rex, just level two, but he has got a stun as well. And he'll stun um, enemy tech units and leaders or disabled structures as well. Now the stun is just, it's not like it's a chopper stun or the Rebel Resistance stun where it's constant. It's just every for the two second, just over two point two second stun. That's all it is, but it can stun anything. Um, and it could buy you time on a turret or against an enemy or whatever it might well be. So let's watch some games. Now I have just dinged to tier 11 after playing about five matches on this account. I think it's five games I've played now. Um, so it's, I expect it's going to be pretty tough. Director Krennic. See what cards he's got. I don't play this account much. This is really one of my testing accounts, to be fair. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try and see how we, we all get on. Because um, the cards are extremely low level on this account. I, I really do wish that a circle could jump over things. So he's running the tier... Oh, I forgot about the perks. I'm running tier 1 perks. Standard stuff for me. He's giving me good luck. Let's, oops, wrong button. Um, almost put good job. <laughs> In comes a Y wing, not a problem for me. So what I'll do now, top left, ATRT is going to go in there. He's got heavy gunners. I'll drop the pathfinders in there because I'm going to get focused a little bit by this here. Oh, it doesn't even kill it, but it's fine. I need to get out there before I melt. Wow, that's okay. We've got assassins in there, so I just have to use my attack, to take them down because the Soka's got such low health. You don't want to risk. Taking those on because they will hurt you greatly. Another build up this side. So he doesn't damage top left, so I'm going to entertain that. Good attack first level. His turret is just one tick higher than mine. But you can see what he wants to do. He wants to use his special ability on me. What's at the back? Death Troopers. Okay. So he's up there. I'll close him down now with my special. He stuns me, which is crafting to get out of before I die. I am going to be in trouble now because he's got a lot coming at me. So I need, I need to get my airship up, my wiring bomber, because I'm going to be in trouble. Here it comes. Just get out there quickly. So I'm going to be in absolute trouble now. I need to absorb this. Um, these are going to really, really hurt. So what I'm going to do now is just try and kite them around a little bit. Save up some energy first. There they are. Dead. Hit me a little bit, so it's really hurt me. Stunned. Drop pod. Stormtroopers are in there. Let's get out of there. But I'm going to attack him now. Wookie in there to make sure he's dead. Double tap. I die, but he dies importantly. 
And I've got enough defense there just to cover me while I respawn. Because I've got no health packs. One popped up now, which is fine. The Wookiee, you'd think he'd attack the main core wouldn't have, of these things, but never mind, that's going to hurt. Pushes me backwards in the other direction, of course it does, why wouldn't it? Dev Troopers are up. Let's get rid of those. Level 3 as well. Missed the Heavy Gunners. That's going to be a problem. Get those in there. Stuns missed me. Onto the Heavy Gunners now. Rebel Troopers behind me. I will now focus this turret as we charge in. And I'm going to steal this health pack as well. Thank you very much, mate. Drop Pod goes in. Focusing Krennic. Double slash, double slash, double slash. He's gone. Look at that. Melts him completely. Onto the turret now. Don't get too excited, really. In case um, when he respawns. I'm now going to pinch this. If I can just double click. There you go. They're going to hurt. In goes the airstrike. Just put down some troopers there. Drop pod on this now just to get it in there. Focus on credit, but I'm dead. So it's not going to happen. Didn't kill off all the death troopers, as you see, but it wasn't enough for him to win the day. But it was a GG from me. Level 3 unique. That's nasty. Let's have a look at his, um, his business. Republic Commandos again. Are you kidding me? I don't know about you guys, but every pack now has got cards that you don't really play. It might contain one or two cards that you're currently using or of any use, really. Um, but Republic Commandos are in almost every single pack I open, and there's a lot of them. 96. Wow. So GG. And let's look at his deck. So in there, he's, at, he's level 3, unique, which is nasty. Um, level 8, heavy gunners. Level 6, spider joy, which is quite low level. And his, his epic cards were more or less the same as mine, apart from his stun being a 5. So almost an evenly battled game. But it was a good game. GG. So because that was the same player, we're going to try and, try and get another game going if we can. Let's see what nonsense the game throws at us this time. Darth Vader this time. Three star level 10. Let's see what level, what he's got in store for me in this game. This should be quite an interesting match because Vader is quite slow, but we'll see. But he's very powerful, depending on what perk nonsense he's got equipped, unlocked. None. Surprising. Level 3 as well. Okay, we've got to come up here. Stormtroopers. And an ATST Walker. So I put Rex in behind. Oh, I need to get out there quickly because that scout troop is going to slow me down. We need an airstrike here because as you can see, what's happening there is the scout troopers are slowing us all down. Got to kill it because that's just nonsense. So everything's dead. It took me almost any, all my energy to kill it and Rex died before you, even, you can even do anything. Took some damage. That's not good. And here they come again because I can't stop it. So I use my special ability, use my special ability, use my special ability. Dead. Look how powerful Vader is there. Look at it. Oh my life is going on. I'm just going to absorb all this. Not oh, heavy gunners again. Everyone's using heavy gunners right now. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to entertain that nonsense to most of you because that turret's gone. There it goes. Need to get on the front foot. So sometimes when you have a lost cause, it's just not worth it. It really isn't worth it. Special ability, that was fair enough. I mean, don't know how many times I pressed that. In goes my drop pod. Gonna go for a quick kill if I can. Vader will be respawning soon, so hopefully, um, I'll wait to focus the turret instead. Perfectly normal. If I just get an airstrike off here, I'll be happy. Before I die, but I do die. It's not gonna happen either. But drop pod's now working on the shield generator, which is fine. Airstrike is up next. Puts me back in the game. So she's done a double back there on me, so what I've done is that, is that instead. So what I'm going to do now is focus the shield generator. Vader has to come across. Don't know why it's done that. I want to drop pod there, please, game. Thank you very much. Good game. Man, this game sometimes. I hate when it gives you the wrong card. But never mind, what can you do? You pick drop pod, but it gives you something different. 38 pathetic points for that win. I mean, the guy's lower level than me in terms of tier, but I get 38 points for the privilege of beating him. Oh, and look at the reward, though. Wow. Fuck it, Rexes. That is 
epic. That is probably the best thing that's happened to me in this game for a long time. A card I'm using. My life. Look at his deck. Vader's level 3, no perks. Um, and obviously he got his unique there. ATST at 4, quite low level. Still better, better than mine. All his cards are better level than mine. Um, which isn't too difficult. But we did pick up Rex. That is phenomenal on this account. And there, we can actually upgrade now to the next level. And look at the difference it makes in DPS. Doesn't increase the stun duration, just does more damage. A bit more health, a bit more attack power for 4k. Um, so I won't do that in this particular video, although I can afford it. But that is Ahsoka and Rex. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next Star Wars Force Arena video. May the Force be with you.